Hello everyone, this is Shruti Ayurja, second year MBBA student at GMC at Chandigarh. So in this video, we are going to talk about important markings of general anatomy and what are the important sure shot questions and probable questions in fact, which would help you in uh, your general anatomy part test as well as in your final exams. So I will discuss all the important and probable questions which are like a standard and usually come uh, in the exam and I will also tell you the marks uh, allotted and I will give you a rough blueprint in the end how your paper uh, usually looks like in most of the colleges. So first of all I have marked all the yeah, um, the question, the questions and the topics on which there is a sure shot question. First of all, there is um, pronation and supination. It is like a difference between, and you need to make a uh, like if it is five marks, then you need to um, add on ten points on it. So it is a thumb rule. Like if it is a five mark question, then ten points. If it is a ten mark question, then twenty valid points. Next is uh, adipose tissue. So here we can't add a difference, nothing. So what do we do? We add a diagram and diagram also the thumb rule is in a box, right? And with proper one side labeling, not haphazardly. Next comes deep fascia modifications. In this, you also can add a diagram with each point if possible, if time allow, allows. But uh, what mistake usually people make is it comes as a five mark question and people write only five modification right but you have to write 10 modification then only you will get near to full marks in this question next comes a uh, principle of skin is incisions and fingerprints and dermatographics this part is given very less in bbc and vishram singh so if you prepare a good good uh, content short note beforehand then that will help you to reproduce better um, in the exam next comes uh, significance of end arteries it can come as an explain why question also portal circulation diagram needs to be learned then uh, venous return Again, same point as of deep fascia. If five mark question is there, then 10 points need to be written at least. Um, 10 points are not neither given in BDC nor given in Vishram Singh. So we need to find that on our end beforehand, right? Next comes lymphatic system. Uh, enumerate questions are also very common. Uh, they are like uh, two marks, uh, three marks questions that varies. But enumerate is like um, if they are told to enumerate the types of synovial joints, then do remember if it is a two mark question, then you need to write the four types, four uh, the four um, classification. Or just uh, remember if you know all the po uh, uh, points and if you know all the classifications then you write it all because it is very scoring point and you can also get full marks like if it is three mark question then three out of three some questions are like you can't get full marks but in some questions you can so just try to score well in those Next is synapses. It is very common, but we usually forget all the types and we miss it, right? Then typical spinal nerve diagram. I would ensure it is five mark question as a diagram, only diagram, right? Next is uh, if it comes a short note, then don't just draw the diagram. Do also write how many pairs of spinal nerves, cranial nerves, how the nervous system is divided, what are the, uh, like, if you can write more about it, just write it. Uh, try to leave a page and fill it afterwards. Next is dermatome. Dermatome also has a diagram in Vishram Singh given, but you need to refer to that also if you want to make it more appealing. Now, difference between parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system is also an easy question, but again, double the points, right? Next is gray and white remai communication, communicants. Um, it is also given in Vishram Singh and um, as a difference between also, right? If you have the chance that the examiner has, the question paper has not asked you to write a difference, but you can, you have the points, then you do write it like that right because that is a better way to present next is types of bones now all these i think so i have written less in according to type uh, the more you find it the more you can write it in this question some questions are like open-ended just write what you do 
then you have to fill it but do remember time management is also important because sometimes we know this much but we have only time this much for that allocated so do allocate your time in every paper because otherwise you will regret in the finals next is long bone it is a very important question the epiphysis diaphysis metaphysis all can be a short note but a blood supply of long bone can be a diagrammatic question separately next is peripheral heart uh, short note very important these some questions out of general anatomy are uh, well explained in the further chapters for example lower limb etc um, but uh, you don't know that much amount of content and concept right now but you can just search on the web you can search out from the books um, you can search from the pdfs you can write the peripheral heart you will get a lot information about that right so try to increase your knowledge and notes next is synovial joint and then cartilage the types uh, musculocutaneous nerve is a new term you need to search about that because sometimes we just miss the term what is that we don't know so there we lose some marks now hilton's law is an important short question next synovial joint is itself a very important very important just mind my words because i think so it comes almost in every college next is difference between these three types of muscles is a standard question and we have done in neat also just try to expand the knowledge and uh, if you understand that i have done already this in neat for example i have learned the difference already in neat but try to find out what is their extra in um, mbbs first year what is their extra in bdc or vishram singh there you will have an edge on i hope you understand because if you will write the same points as there were in neat the same basic points the teacher also can understand and um, just interpret that you have not added anything to your knowledge so i hope you understand everything about general anatomy pyqs how to attempt them and what is the blueprint i have already told in enumerate questions explain by questions uh, there is a diagrammatic portion and there is a five mark question and sometimes there is a 10 mark question from atcom atcom video has already been uploaded you can check out that also all the important pyqs and that is also a nice area to score atcom is sometimes five mark or 10 mark it depends on college to college um i think so you like this video if you liked it then do save it in your library it will also help you in the final exams as well and share it with your friends because sharing is caring